it's all looking a bit Chinese to me. Okay. okay. In front of us we have the Golden Dragon Museum. We will be touring you and showing you a little bit of the Chinese history of when they came out to the gold fields in the 1850s. Most of them travelled here through Robe because Peter? To avoid taxes otherwise they were to pay heavy taxes coming into Victoria. So they were sneaky enough to come in from South Australia and walk all the way to Bendigo. But they did actually have lots of market gardens on the outskirts of town and so they fed a lot of the locals and um, lots of Chinese spring rolls I gather. Also most of them worked the alluvial mines so when they finished, when the gold rush finished they actually returned with their wealth back to China. Mm. I don't think they made that much after all. We have just returned from the Chinese Dragon Museum in Bendigo. It was a wonderful experience. The Chinese here go back a long time. There's an abundance of history here and, um, and some artifacts that you won't find anywhere else. We learnt a lot about the culture, including the Lung. What is the Lung? That's the dragon. That infamous dragon that 
they celebrate at um, Chinese New Year and here they do a festival in April called the Bendigo Festival I think around Easter it's around the Easter. the Easter festival and they have a Sun Loom which takes 115 people to actually carry 25 just in the head over 30 meters in length. it is over 30 meters on three levels in the museum the now, other thing I learned which I kind of knew but I liked anyway that why do you give red because red is the co color of happiness right. the color of luck and the color of joy so as you opposed never give, to you white. never give red at a funeral you give no. the white at a funeral that's right what about the discrimination during the 1850s? What about it? Sandra, you've been What about, about that discrimination? <laughs> There's a lot of discrimination. Now, Sandra, you just can't look good. You've got to say something. There's a lot of discrimination against the Chinese back in the 1850s when they first migrated or came across here to Bendigo. And they were treated poorly in relation to... One, everything. Everything, but particularly one Chinese person was considered a factory. So they were taxed a lot higher than, say, Europeans who came here where you required four people to be considered a factory. Yeah. So there was a lot of discrimination in the way that they were taxed. taxed and invited into the community. And what was really interesting was once the rush on the gold finished, they had to find other work and a lot of them had to return back to China. Yeah. What they also made comment about is that one person's debt was the family's debt. Mm -hmm. So it's not the, the individual. It wasn't the individual that's right. debt. That's right. Responsibility. It was a family responsibility, and the family hierarchy kind of dis was the older son, the next son didn't say much about the daughters. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. I had to marry well. Thank you people for your you. wonderful commentary and um, we've certainly had a wonderful day at the museum in Bendigo. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. And that would be commentary rather than commentary. <laughs> yeah.